Thank you very much. And uh, at this point, I feel like thanking all people. <laughs> Especially those who are at Purdue. And uh, we all felt that the Purdue needs a little, little boost, <laughs> a little extra boost. This great, great, great institution. Of course, 31 years ago, my own postdoctoral mentor, Professor Brown, won, which I predicted 1962 when he came to Philadelphia when I was a PhD student at the University of Pennsylvania. Wow, this person will change the whole this area of uh, organic synthesis or organic chemistry with his boron element. And uh, I'm going to have to learn something from him. And that's how I came here in 1966 as his postdoctoral associate. And uh, well, after, after two years, I was ready to go to Canada. But uh, he somehow persuaded me, managed to help me in a big time way, you know, in conjunction with my visa acquisition. <clears throat> So I ended up spending four more years. Uh, but those are the time when I had uh, plenty of time, including uh, some time to sneak out to the golf course. <laughs> uh, and I thought about my future. And, uh, and then I came up with this, uh, my Lego game approach, snapping smaller pieces together to synthesize organic molecules. And to, to be able to do that, I gradually realized that, well, we, first of all, we need a metal, stoichiometric amount, of course, which Professor Brown used you know, with boron, but not in our sense. <laughs> and then I realized we probably need a catalyst, some booster. And the booster must come from some of those transition metals. And uh, I didn't know the wonderful properties of uh, transition metals. But uh, our, uh, our predecessor or our uh, you know, 